Oi, you guys seen the latest episode of Howard Stern? I know, I know, he's a renegade host who's made his name off of his brash, candid and provocative interview style. Let's just say he's anything but politically correct. I mean, he hosts interviews with mentally disabled people where he asks them to spell three letter words and then laughs at them when they can't. It's just the height of cruelty, isn't it? He's actually interviewed so many that there's an official group called The Whack Pack. Did you know about that? It's a whole group of people for Howard Stern to prod and for millions of people to laugh at. I already thought that was pushing the boundaries, but have you seen what he's done recently? Adding a sitting president to the whack pack. Now that's a low blow even for Howard, asking 81 year old Biden deliberately stupid questions, goading him for funny answers. How cruel is that? You ever do that? Do you ever like um, go on Facebook and look up people that you grew up with and go, hey, Look what became of me. Like, no, 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 I don't do that. I think the bigger question here is how the hell did Biden's advisors not see that comparison coming? Answer, probably got their cert three in political advertising from an Australian TAFE. Yes, this video is about TAFE, but no, no, I know you're about to click off, don't. This affects you, it's very important. After all, TAFE spelled backwards is fake. Well, probably gonna need this classic Lowe's attire for this video, and uh, as you can tell from my previous statement, I learned how to spell at TAFE. <laughs> okay, sorry, I won't rag on TAFE like certain university graduates love to do. Oh, you're so much better than someone with a certificate in hat making with your fancy fucking medicine degree. Get out of yourself. yourself! At most, you'll probably save a few human lives. Humans are a dime a dozen. If Drake can make two in secret, anyone can do that shit. Hats, on the other hand, well, they have to constitute like what, 25% of the budget of a Baz Luhrmann film? And can we just have a bit of honesty? They're the most impressive displays humanity has ever produced. Have you seen Elvis? Two words, incredible. And that hat that Tom Hanks wore, probably a product of TAFE hat making courses, thank you very much. Which now, thanks to Labor, I think is free. No difference between the two major parties, eh? Sorry, I don't actually know if it is free. I can't be bothered to enroll and check, but Labor has funded almost half a million fee-free TAFE places. Suck shit, America. What the fuck does TAFE mean? It means learning how to mass produce those cakes no one likes and not electrocuting yourself. Now, let me make one more Howard Stern observation. He needs a hat, but also, isn't it funny how he started out in radio as this wild-haired, controversial maverick copping huge fines for his refusal to bow to the man, but gradually he's become closer and closer to a Jewish grandmother. I mean, look at the grandma from the nanny. Your only thought now is, oh, Howard dyed his hair. That's kind of what happened to TAFE in the past decade. Just like Howard Stern's show, TAFE used to be the place where all the misfits, the whack packers of society, if you will, go to get quizzed up and skilled up and then they could eventually learn what overcharging is and charge you $200 to say, no, oh, yeah, gonna have to um, order some party. But now they're both too scared to do anything great. Howard's sitting there interviewing Joe Biden, TAFE being slashed to the point where we don't have enough tradies to meet our own housing targets anymore. Now, I'm gonna do something out of character. I'm gonna blame it all on the Liberals. A criticism that I will steal from the ACTU press release from last December. Did you know that from when the Libs got in until 2021, they cut three billion in federal funding for TAFE. We lost around 10,000 full-time teaching jobs between 2012 and 2019. We also have 70,000 less apprenticeships and traineeships than we had in 2013. These cuts have real world impacts. Trade unions blame the Liberals cuts in funding to vocational training for our massive shortage in skilled workers now. So you remember that the next time you get an outrageous quote for a modest Versace themed infinity pool. So, what happened to Tate? Suspiciously during the same period in which Howard Stern got soft. Basically, over the years, state governments all over Australia took advantage of a shift in federal funding to vocational funding. Instead of funding TAFE directly, the federal government, Labor as well, introduced schemes like Vet Fee Help and National Training Entitlement, which gave AshK and Owenslays cash and loans to individual students encouraging to pick whatever educational providers they wished in the hopes of creating a competitive private training market. The problem is a lot of very smart Andrew Tate types realize. So the government is now paying students to study pretty much anywhere. Time to set up Hustlers Tafe. Dropship the government for some mad subsidies and teach Cert 3 in human trafficking. I'm sorry, I know I said I wouldn't make any more snooty university points, but 
How much is Andrew Tate aimed at people who go to TAFE? <laughs> Posh tanks, more like posh tanks. Anyway, over the past decade, more of these dodgy private colleges popped up than Andrew Tate clones popped up on Instagram reels. And these guys would deliberately target victims of the matrix. Sorry, I mean vulnerable people with schemes like promising a free laptop with a course enrollment, knowing full well these vulnerable people wouldn't and couldn't finish the courses, which were definitely less useful than most funk dancing for self-defense classes. These scam providers would then just pocket the government subsidy and leave the students heavily in debt. But hey, at least they got a free laptop and sometimes a certificate from Oxford Smart Gentleman Vocational Training. I mean, look at this guy. He legit went door to door with a car boot full of free laptops. Isn't that so shameless? And hard to resist, like, even though I know that is a scam if he said, how would you like to be fully qualified to work at a cafe and get a free ASUS? Fuck yes, ASUS, ASUS equals ASUS. It's a HP computer in the picture. Uh -huh. Not an ASUS. Yeah. It's a different brand. Yeah, who cares? It's a different brand. I, no one gives a fuck. Ironically, actually nothing really ironic about it. This was just the same shit that happened to the National Disability Insurance Scheme. Scammy providers popping up, pocketing millions in government subsidies. I don't know how they would have capitalized on the whole Andrew Tate angle though. Hustlers sponge buffs. Uh, hold that, I just answered my own question. <laughs> Anyway, these subsidies to private providers coincided with a white anting of reputable government-run tapes. As the ACTU points out, we're now feeling the consequences of a decade of scams. And in case you've been living under a rock, Australia's been going through a massive housing crisis. And if you are living under that rock, you're doing better than most battlers, aren't you? Look at you with your fucking ample supply of slaters. Must be nice. <laughs> that may... Many full videos on this crisis. Maybe they're out on YouTube. Maybe they're available on Patreon. The point is you should subscribe now regardless. But in short, the housing price crisis is caused by policy that encourages property speculation and lacks lending from banks. But the rental crisis, and this is key, the rental crisis is being caused by a lack of supply. Despite what the SMH wants you to believe, the major cause for this lack of supply isn't grandmothers that are good at making placards with glitter on them, and somehow that stops Lindlease from developing. The causes are migration levels and something that Gold Coast schoolies will never suffer from, a lack of tradies. Everywhere else, well, probably not the Central Coast either, or the Sunshine Coast. Look, apart from every fucking place with the word coast in it, everywhere else is in a vicious cycle because we don't have enough tradies to build enough housing to keep up with the demand of migration thanks to the Liberals gutting TAFE over the past 10 years. But we also need to import these migrants to fill those skills that are now missing because the Liberals gutted TAFE over the last 10 years. You see the problem here? The stupidity of that vision Truly unfathomable. The crux of Howard's grand future of this country was to make Australia a nation of cafes, mines, and real estate agents that aren't qualified properly as my cert three isn't worth shit. And by Howard, I meant our old Prime Minister John Howard, not Howard Stern, but they do share a lot in common as they're both. Shocking. Anyway, cafes, mines, real estate. Those are our three industries now. Well, four, private providers scheming the government for subsidies. But to have that fourth industry, and this is where it gets really pernicious, we're risking all the jobs and prosperity that come from having a functioning construction sector. Did you know that it was reported a month ago that we need to pull an extra 90,000 tradies out of our arse within the next three months in order to keep up with our national housing target? That isn't going to happen, obviously, because when you look at what has happened to TAFE over the last 10 years, how the fuck can it? There is a lot of positive news on the TAFE front, though. A lot of it is coming from the new Future Made in Australia plan that the press are having this collective aneurysm over because it's uh, protection. As I mentioned at the start of this video, the Albanese government is funding almost half a million free TAFE places. I think that's a far better use of the money than the Liberals' idea of using it to fund $100,000 cons. It's proven to be pretty popular. The target was 180,000 students in the first year to take up these places. Guess what? It almost quadrupled to 355,000 students enrolling in the first year. Think my calculation on those numbers is wrong? Well, I learned to count from TAFE. But the day that we learned to count, I was doing what most students at TAFE do. I was ripping bongs in the toilet. But this, this is how you get the need for migration down. And I mean 
truly down. It's not a quick fix. You have to rebuild Australia's skill base from the ground up. That is what Labor is doing now by ensuring that at least 70% of government funding for vocational services is going to TAFE, which is, as they say, ending privatisation by stealth. Until the Liberals are voted in again and then they'll do exactly the same fucking thing. Bang. The Red Queen theory is real. Last year, Federal Labor committed billions more in funding for vocational training under the National Skills Agreement. The free TAFE spots were included in this funding, but the big takeaway was Labor is increasing federal funding of vocational training by $900 million a year. $900 million. With tens of millions going to improving TAFE's facilities, revising the standards for qualifications so people as dumb as certain vocational certificate graduates we all know can't slip through the cracks. They're also aiming to double hire apprenticeships within the next five years. So despite all the professional managerial class jargon that does come from party leadership and the useless elite cultural posturing that they love to participate in because they think the views of certain suburbs in Canberra are representative of all of Australia, the Labor Party are still the Labor Party. They are the party that invests in vocational training and then improves the conditions of those working in those vocations. They are still the party of unions. The Liberals, on the other hand, not only white ant workers' conditions when they're working, but prevent the training and creation of workers to begin with. Such is their obsession with creating, I guess, government-subsidised scams as a vision. And after 10 years of going down the drain, the Liberals are now questioning Labor's free TAFE policy because it was so much better when they were using taxpayer money to fund laptop scams. To give you an example, under the state libs, Coffs Harbour TAFE was so underfunded that it got rid of its fucking bricklaying course, meaning there was no public bricklaying course in New South Wales, north of Newcastle. I think that's all I need to say. Your TAFE is now free, or even better, get an apprenticeship and put that money on my Patreon. There's an idea.